it looks like we're going to King's Row here. Yeah, map three. What do you uh, want to see from the races here? A bit more aggression. Sure. Um, a bit more awareness. I, I think it's safe to say. Now, who do you um, put the blame on for being aggressive? Should the tanks be the ones really pushing, the, telling their supports to come forward, or is yeah. it the job of the supports to tell their team when to push forward? Well, it's a, it's a delicate balance because as a tank player, you have to have the awareness of knowing where your team is so you don't need to be too aggressive to where you're just feeding all the time but you don't need to be so passive as to just have your team stand in one place with your shield for the entire time um, usually it's up to the tanks to determine how aggressive your team is um, so in our case with for the gold team we have a pretty aggressive tank player um, unsainted and then we have a semi-aggressive uh, tank player Cole the chief just um, so that balance is pretty good um, so far, I think the tanks for blue have been pretty Let's passive, in my opinion. But done. JC played ball on Elios, um, but unfortunately, he just kept getting picked there, uh, which is probably a symptom of that armor scene. In so yeah, I think it's the tanks that are really going to set the tone. For this Statistically matter. speaking, I usually get most of the team back alive. Oh man, who's counting? Well, interesting. Is on her can't have audio, so hopefully somebody in the chat will explain that to him. One to one. Interesting storylines developing tonight as the racers take on the Villanova Wildcats tonight. Kings Row Map Three. Let's get a hashtag Murray Map Three in the chat. Uh, we will see if there's any changes. But right now, I'm switching to the May Reaper combination, and there's the Brig. Oh, oh back to Anna. Oh, Tiger oh, no. Mask. Poor guy. <laughs> All right, so May Reaper here. They're one to just go pretty calm here. Looks like um, Blue Team isn't too comfortable with running off supports, which is pretty common. Um, lots of shield pressure here. Yeah, see, um, our tanks are just not wanting to press W. We're kind of hanging around in this choke. We need to either go or we need to go left and go to a hotel. You saw somebody going left, but Dylan not pushing up with his team, and now his health is suffering as a consequence. His shield is down. He doesn't have enough to protect. And, oh, the charge, though, might help them out a little bit, but now he's retreated so far from his team. They don't have anything to protect them except for the bubbles, and Murray State could get picked apart here. Yes, yeah, so that may have just been a miscommunication there, but let's go left, and Dylan may have now left mid. Just go left through the choke, or left the hotel. Big wall, they need to up out the right heart. Oh, they didn't land. Thanks to the immortality field, the J Dog though, Racer's able to stay alive through all that. And a big pick from Dirty Paws on the Mimma. Murray State might go ahead and take this. If they can get rid of that Lucio, they've got it. And, and it looks like Lucio might have done enough because although Diva is D Mech now, they've still got the McCree there as well. And the rest of the Wildcats, here they come through the arc, the ice wall, almost huge. Reinhardt had to back up, so it worked out. Racers hanging on by a thread for two characters. Villanova fire striking. He's nanoed. The charge, the double, the shatter, and the dead eye all combined. Unbelievable work from Villanova. Wow. So I think that was a miscommunication on our end as well. Um, we should have dubbed you and got supports because they were kind of on our side right where that Zarya just died. Um, Villanova's supports were totally unprotected there. Um, but then the respawns came in for Villanova and they were able to come back with that massive shatter and dead eye. <laughs> I Racers now will have a couple of fight. ults and are close to a few more, so at least going in with four ults, it looks like, for the next team fight. We could see some sort of combination here for the Death Blossom. It, they're going to post up on this left-hand side and try to make something special happen here on map three. What a story it would be if the Racers could come from behind and thanks to the mistake of Villanova, come away with a win. Um. Villanova does have a lot of ult denies here, so the Diva uh, Defense Matrix and the Free State, they need to watch out and look at the first here. Mortality build, that's going to be important, but it is it pops too early in the team fight. Blizzard will cover their push forward. They've got two ticks now. Can they get the third? Trying to prevent more damage. The Ice Wall for Villanova. Sean Grape getting one. Dylan getting two. Murray State, though, they're still there, Villanova. They just won't die as the charge takes the Ana up into the air and finishes. Wow, Quetzal actually finishes the villain and gets the, oh, the melee kill. Oh, <laughs> embarrassing. Okay. That was a super scrappy fight. Um, I think this could be a big stagger. Yes, this could be. He's going to get it. Oh, yeah. nicely done. Um, I think the biggest issue we're seeing right now is that there's probably a lack of uh, target calling on the side of uh, Murray State Blue right now. Um, it seems like everyone's just kind of seeing someone and then they're focusing them solely. Um, like a bunch of just like six 1v1s essentially happening, happening right now. Um, so if Murray State calls 
get the Ana or get the Lucio, that means six people going on one. So the odds of that person dying are a lot higher than if you're just doing what you want. So let's see if they can do that later. Get in there. The Chief just tipped one dollar USD. Thank you, Chief. Big spender. <laughs> we appreciate any of that, really. Dylan, oh, he's got the shield up. He's JC in here alone <laughs> with the... That not want any part of it. <laughs> And that Nano Ryan, we see that's the continual strategy here, just making that hammer do more damage as Villanova is going to be more aggressive here. Dylan, he's got a shield up, but he's going to have to back off. Is he going to shatter here? I don't think he's going to get the chance as he's frozen. Oh, that's a massive anti on the side of uh, Murray State Blue, though. Michael's still alive, Dylan. Somehow making it out of there. It's scrappy. He's, I don't think going to make him. the diva, though. <laughs> Okay. Um, and again, like I'm saying, it looks like Murray State is just kind of really hesitant to press Q or to really set the tone of these team fights. It seems like they're just kind of um, going to the point and then hoping them just shooting Villanova will work and they can save their ultimates. And in the game of Overwatch, especially with an experienced team such as Villanova or anyone else, you kind of have to Q initially to set the tone of the team fight. Dirty pause bubble as he pushes forward with the May. That's an aggressive push. He's going to use the ice wall. Yeah. Oh, they might. They might be setting a trap here. And there's the ice wall, forcing Murray State to funnel to one side. Reinhardt's on the top, dancing around bubble. That's a big ante from the side of Villanova. Murray State in the blue now. Here's the shatter. There it is. Grab. Grab is going to work out. Dylan with two. He's frozen. Up. Oh, the dead eye reply though. I think Murray State's still going to get this though. Um, they're up in the numbers. They just need to demake that annoying diva and she'll get out. So she might come in for a rematch. She just to stall the point. McCree's left. They need to watch him. Box time has been pretty good about his dead eyes, and it seems like his aim is. Oh, the nice Very excellent reflexes from oh, the Dylan. Dylan. Yeah, they're going to be here. They're going to go ahead and engage. 4.59 meters, and Villanova is not scared to push forward and take this here with one minute on the clock. The racers still have the shatter in tow, though. They could pull it out here, but they didn't touch down. The issue was that Murray State, um, I think our supports got killed by that dead eye. Um, so Villanova actually had the healing uh, advantage there. Murray State seems to be maybe be able to turn this back, though. The Reaper damage is doing a lot. Also, the main presence. Oh, the headshot. John Grape showing up big, but that bubble, thankfully, he's able to fade away. The bubble faded on him just as the Diva Bomb almost exploded. They've got the ult. John Grape could show up huge here for his team if he can time it right. But 30 seconds on the clock. Murray State, all they need to do at the top of your screen is touch that little red marker. If they can get there, they can extend the game for even longer. But Dylan's health dwindling away. He's got the McCree. He's got to worry about it. He's stunned. He's teamed. And it's, he's down. And that's huge. Yeah, so we're just trickling into the team fight now. We should have called a uh, reset or kind of a group up. Uh, May might try to pull out a clutch here. We'll see this DM, but it might get even more because of this here we go, the blizzard. They need to use it. He's bubbled on the point. Ults need to be used now. If not now, when? There's a blizzard. Several frozen. Get on the point, Murray State, so they can push forward. Villanova, even though they're frozen, they're not able to be punished effectively. The racers, though, still continuing to try and press W. Minma and Dylan trading out kills for both teams. This is a tense situation for the racers. We have no ultimates, though. Just gonna have to roll this out with bullets. Oh, oh, Dylan man, showing up big with the hammer. I think we'll still get this here, though. She uh, has self-destruct again. That D.Va has, what, three or four tons on this map yes. alone? Unreal. I think twice on this point alone. Oh, Murray State might lose it here. That was a clutch play from the D.Va. Box time now on the Doomfist. Really great mobility from that hero, and of course, massive amounts of damage. J Dog barely uh, avoiding there that, that charge hits from Murray State as they went away, and wow. Pro long team fight here. I mean, Murray State's doing a good job with the trickling in, but um, I, think I think that's it. Tracer's on. Of course, I've said that might be it for the past couple minutes. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Murray State, though, doing a good job trying to yeah. just get back on that point. Vestian tipped $1. Thank you very much. Or $1, one cent. He had to one up the Chief. Thank you, guys. By the way, Vestian and Chief, both students, just contributing. Uh, money to their own club. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We love the dedication. I think the reason that we had such a good stall game there was because Villanova had set us up for that kind of in the team fights before that. Since we had never called from what it seemed like an actual regroup, we were kind of doing 3v6 that entire second point. And then um, those trickles just kept coming in for that last minute and a half pretty much. So. 
Murray State will now have to put up one heck of a defense here. We are on map three. If you're just tuning in, map one going the way of Villanova after uh, a couple of fairly close rounds. Map two on Dorado cut short due to a mistake on the side of Villanova, which forfeited the match. And now map three, Villanova in a strong position here. All they have to do is make it to that second point. Yep. And if Villanova win this map three, that's it for the first game of the night. Yep. So and far, though. Uh, so far, this is not drawable. Um, if we had gotten Attack full held on first point, we may have been able to draw at least and go to another map. Um, but now it's uh, backs against the walls. They cannot allow that cart to get to that point where, where it rested uh, on their attack. The government so it doesn't here seem like... Okay, so we have a junk right now instead of Reaper. Towards so that's going to provide a lot more um, area denial. Seems like that's what blue team is wanting, especially with this May, Re uh, May Junkrat, and Reinhardt. It's just a lot of area denial. Try to make Villanova play where we want them to play. Um, we'll see if that works out to their advantage. Murray State holding up on the left-hand side here. This first point will be critical because if Villanova can steamroll them, they are going to make a lot of time. Early trading blows coming in as the shield is dwindling away on the side of Murray State. Tough position to be in as a Reinhardt. Here they come on the left-hand side. The Wildcats pushing forward, trying to claw their way to victory as Chong Grape gets the pick. Box time is down. That's critical. Big wall, big wall. Huge wall, isolating several. Reinhardt trying to be a hero there, but just running away. All right, so now they need to collapse the Reinhardt to get the stack to kill him. And just as soon as you said it, they did collapse, but not able to punish him here. Oh, oh my charge. goodness! Dylan with the charge and Chongrape also lobbing in some grenades there. Great work from Racers defensively. Yeah, it seems like their uh, target calling is a lot better now. Their team cohesion about getting to that to that target is also a lot better. Um, from what I can tell, um, most of the Murray State actually went to the Reinhardt instead of just calling him out. They actually went to try to eliminate him. So that's Racers checking in on this hotel side. Dirty Paws just trying to lob a few icicles the way of. Villanova Wildcats, it looks like they are redirecting themselves to the high ground. Here they come. Racers have read it, though. This team fight will be interesting. Let's see if they all commit at the same time. Surely they have an alt or two ready to go. And a big ice wall for the side of the racers here. Oh, box time with the double. There's the shatter to follow it up. There's the third for the three. Murray State, this point is lost. This will be first point for you. Um, I think if we may have... Um, May ulted there a lot earlier. We could have caught them out, especially when they had just dropped down from that high ground position. Uh, we could have got in there. My ultimate um, ability is charging. But we'll see if we'll see if Murray State can press Q a little bit more aggressively here on, on their defensive base. Wildcats of Villanova have four and a half minutes to push that car all the way to the yellow marker that you see at the top of your screen. The racers need to try and stop them. He's going for an aggressive flank. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't think Villanova has any idea. So let's see, let's stay on the May here for a second. Here it they comes. Have no idea. There's the blizzard, Villanova not reading it. Several frozen, Still they need frozen. to punish them now. Dirty Paws, Dylan Warrior, great what a work. Massive blizzard. Oh my Big goodness. Shots. Big blizzard on the side of the racers. What the, let, look at that headshot. Wow, nice, Dirty what? Paws popping off there. What in the world that, was that? That's the aggression that we need to see from this team here. That was an incredible play from Dirty Paws. Nice flank, nice shots. I mean, he said it himself. He can pop off and have those big moments. Uh, kind of in the way that Anher did for you guys last season, he'd have those big moments, especially on the May. So may that continue. Here comes Villanova on the left-hand side of the, the point. Murray State, without that ult now, though, this is more of a slugfest. High new great immortality field. Everybody's weak on the side of Murray State, though. They need to stay oh, right, right. talk down. Oh, it's a massive shatter. Yeah, that's big. Oh, Villanova. and our grab got eaten. Yep, there it is. Eating all of the grab and pushing forward. Everything just handled by Villain over there. It's almost blow for blow here, and look how close they are. I would say Murray State needs to switch to a Lucio here just to get to that point fast. Uh, Villanova is going to have probably three on point, or they might be pushing up uh, far here because they're getting like two and three on point. Murray State needs to hurry. They are right there, and they've got ults ready. There's the bomb. It doesn't find anybody. Mimma, fire strike on J-Dog. Box time, killing Dylan, and that's it. Oh, sad finish to the game. Racers falling 2-1 to one tonight against Villanova Wildcats, and what a game it was. Uh, Chief, what are your take – or Chief, Flavfeld, <laughs> what are your takeaways uh, for this game for Blue Team? 
Yeah, so I think it's basically what I've been saying all night is uh, they just need to be more aggressive. Um, it seems like, at least mechanically, uh, most of them are pretty good. They could have dealt with that, but uh, Villanova was just way, uh, way too aggressive compared to Murray State here. We are going to find out if there's another game, but that is at least game one done and dusted. Much Murray State right. against Villanova Wildcats, unfortunately falling, but it's the first event of the year in the TESPA 2020 Collegiate uh, Championship Qualifiers. If we can add more words <laughs> yes. to that title, we will. Yeah.